I would definitely start off by emphasizing that it's not just one sector of justice and equity, like it's not just racial justice or immigration justice or health justice, it's everything. And you really get a chance to dive into all these different things and um, being able to do that at the end of the day only makes you a better student and a better person. And I think a more valuable member in society, especially as honor students that, you know, want to go out there and want to make a difference and want to make a change or go to higher learning. And my past classes having like these really open and difficult conversations don't necessarily happen as often. Um, and even if they do, it's very short. Um, so I think it's great that we have um, this amount of time to dedicate to talking about these topics. Um, yeah, there are, there are difficult topics to talk about, but stressing that importance, um, especially given like our world today and how our politics are running, I think it's really important to be really informed and engaged. At first, you know, we were a little quiet, but I feel like as time has gone by, um, I could probably confidently tell you a lot about some of my SU classmates while they're all the way over there in Phoenix. Um, and just learning about like the different things that make them feel really passionate about equity and justice. Um, and say, they can say the same for me. It's really nice to hear from people with a little bit, a similar but different experience too. It, it, I feel like it makes us all a bit more worldly because um, as, as diverse and as amazing as New York is, it's not Arizona, it's not Phoenix. Just like that building knowledge and not just knowledge about the world, but also about the other people around you and as well as yourself. Being able to be in a class um, with, like I said, you know, like-minded students that are able to really make these connections with you and come from these different backgrounds. I think that's one of the most fulfilling parts of Jen.